Before the meeting to order, welcome everybody to um, Cabinet. Um, item one is the uh, um, usual item, members, code of conduct, declaration of interest. Do any members of the Cabinet wish to declare any interest? Chris. Thank you, Chair. Um, I'd like to say um, this welcome to the Chair Adrian. Okay, thanks for that. Um, right, so that takes us into um, item number two, financial monitoring 2014-15, months three to four. Um, I just want to make a few comments uh, about this report. Um, obviously, it's, a, it's the usual sort of detailed uh, analysis of uh, our of two. Spend um, at month four of some 3.6 million um, in the general fund, um, and clearly the, the report um, outlines some of the, um, the the measures that were taken to get that um, to, to get that back. I think it would be helpful if we had a more detailed report um, at our at our next meeting, um, Graham, on on just what what action we're taking to to address that. Yeah, uh, Mr Chair, we are confident overall that the Council of Councillors could deal with this. Clearly we want to try and contain this within the areas that it's arising from. It arises from a slightly slow uh, implementation of the budget option that's not an underlying or one spend that will be dealt with during the course of the year. Nevertheless, our meeting with um, Tom Salt and uh, Joe Blot on Tuesday Wednesday of, of next week to prepare the report. Great. Okay, so if, if we maybe can kind of add, add that to the recommendations at uh, item 13 in the report. Um, so you, you can see the, the recommendations in front of you, both for revenue and capital. Um, can we agree uh, those recommendations for that additional report, which we'll get next time? Is that agreed? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, that uh, then takes us on to item 3, uh, which is the Audit and Risk Management Committee Annual Report for 2013-14. Uh, um, and clearly, this is a, um, a report we get as part of the, as paragraph 1.1 says, the professional best practice um, is to, for Cabinet to receive the annual report of the Audit and Risk Management Committee. Um, I would um, like to just record my thanks to the committee for the excellent work that it's uh, undertaken uh, during the year, which is outlined in the detail of the report. I think um, it's uh, provided some really, really good um, reports that look, look into uh, key key areas that um, we've, we've been uh, uh, addressing during the year. But I'm, I'm just going to ask um, Anne McLachlan to say a few um, uh, more detailed comments uh, related to this report. Anne. Thank you, Chair. Yes, I mean, uh, you know, to, to echo your, your words, you know, thanks to the committee for <clears throat> the dealing with a lot of issues that in this past year, this is the, um, the audit and risk handling report for the 13 to 14 period, so during the past year. So essentially, the committee was dealing with a lot of issues that were hanging over from, from 2012, uh, and a lot of those were, were issues that we that were addressing under the improvement plan. And um, just going forward, Chair, what I, you know, apart from thanking the committee for all the things they've done, because they have gone into detail into so very key areas for us, and I'll you know, just mention more which you know, which is the ICT and our, you know, our capability there. Um, going forward, and I know today the, um, the agenda for audit and risk have been published together with the audit report. Uh, which was very good news and very good reading indeed because um, it shows that we've, uh, we've actually got a more qualified statement and 